the best books for prospective chemical engineering students coming right up. Hey there, welcome to ChemEng Weekly. In this video, we will be covering the top 11 best books to read for prospective chemical engineering students for their university applications or otherwise. Because since reading books is a great way to show you're passionate about something, this would be very beneficial for those students who are looking to apply for chemical engineering in a university application. However, this video is not just limited to UK UCAS applicants for university, but rather any high school student who's interested in pursuing chemical engineering as their degree or major in the future. Therefore, ensure that you watch the video through till the end to make sure you get all the best recommendations from our research as well as those recommendations from successful applicants. We will describe the best way to use these books to support your application to university at the end with specific examples for how you can use the information you gather from these books. And a quick pre-word is that you don't necessarily need to buy all of these books as library borrowing and ebook versions are available of some of these. So make sure you weigh up your options before going out to purchase them. And without much further ado, let's get right into the video. The Beginner's Guide to Engineering, Chemical Engineering by John Steinus. This is a great non-technical book for high school students who are interested in pursuing chemical and process engineering at university as it allows you to conceptually see what chemical engineers do without having too much technical detail on there so you can provide a good grasp of what they're talking about. It explains main chemical engineering concepts such as open and closed systems, material balances and energy balances which are all fundamental to the skills and workings of a chemical engineer and you will find them in all the degrees in chemical engineering worldwide so this is why this is a great pick. Sustainable Energy Without the Hot Air by David McKay. This is a free online ebook which is available at withouthotair.com and all of the links for the books are provided in the description anyhow. And this book was written by a former natural scientist professor at Cambridge. This book focuses more on energy and sustainability and since chemical engineers often operate in this field, it would be a useful book to show that you are interested in the applications of chemical engineering whilst fully understanding how and why certain problems arise in the wind, solar, energy, hydrogen and other sectors within the energy fields. It will also show you the current world climate change problems to do with energy and sustainability and show how chemical engineers are at the forefront of pursuing new and innovative solutions to deal with these. The Essential Engineer, Why Science Alone Will Not Solve Our World's Problems by Henry Petrosky. Since chemical engineering is first and foremost an engineering degree, this book is exceptionally useful in showing what the wider implications of engineering is in the world and how chemical engineers can be a vessel to solve scientists' identified problems with the world. The book focuses on climate change and renewable energy, as well as the prevention of natural disasters and the designing of efficient systems for the future and is a great way to show that you're aware of the wider implications of chemical engineering as an engineering degree and how engineers actually work to solve the world's problems. So it's a great pick to choose for your personal statement or just for leisurely reading. An Introduction to Chemical Engineering, Tools for Today and Tomorrow by Kenneth Solen and John Harb. This is more of the bread and butter chemical engineering books in that it will show you the technical aspects of chemical engineering that are often studied in the first and second years of degree, showing you the technical aspects within the modules that you will learn and gives you a great insight and shows that you are researching chemical engineering quite thoroughly as you are looking into specific modules. It will also exemplify a thirst for technical knowledge of the degree and specialisation, which is great when you're talking about your motivations to do chemical engineering. Periodic Tales, The Curious Lives of the Elements by Hugh Aldersey Williams. This book is more of an analytical chemistry book, but since chemistry makes up 20% of the chemical engineering degree overall, and this book takes a particular approach to looking at analytical chemistry, it's a great read for both leisure and for your personal statement. The book breaks down the author's attempt to make a homemade, fully complete periodic table, trying to obtain a small sample of every single element in the periodic table through one means or another. And this shows quite a lot of process design and safety considerations when the author is trying to obtain these materials, which are both key skills for chemical engineering both in the field and within their degree practices. Therefore, this book is brilliant as it shows that you're interested in how chemical engineering and chemistry overlap, even if it is only 20%, and the approach taken by the author in this book allows you to appreciate different aspects of chemical engineering that may not be explicit, but you can read into these further based off how they do certain processes to obtain some of the materials and talk about this as well. Why I Studied Chemical Engineering by Emmanuel Ortega, aka The Chemical Engineering Guy. This free ebook written by my fellow content creator and friend, The Chemical Engineering Guy, aka Emmanuel Ortega, gives a very candid look into why he set to chemical engineering as his major slash degree in the first place, as well as a very good insightful view into his workings as a chemical engineering in the field. 
And this book is therefore a great read to show that you are passionate in working out what chemical engineers do in the field, as well as giving a good insight into how he came about appreciating chemical engineering as a degree choice in the first place. And this would be a great read to see and unpick what motivates a chemical engineer. The Physics of Everyday Things, The Extraordinary Science Behind an Ordinary Day by James Kakalios. Since physics and its applications across modules within chemical engineering makes up to about 60 to 80% of the degree, this book is very useful as it gives a glimpse of how physics behind real things in the real world actually work. In particular, this book is the perfect example to use to show your motivation into looking into the practical applications of one of the core, arguably most important chemical engineering modules, thermodynamics. This book breaks down an ordinary day using extraordinary physics behind it, including everything from how your refrigerator works to keep your milk cold, to how your fitness watch tracks all your steps despite not being apparently sentient. It's a great look of how physics theory seeps into chemical engineering and engineering principles in the real world, and therefore is a great read to show that you are motivated to find out how physics and the real world via chemical engineering are linked, as well as working out how things in real life work and what the science is behind them. And of course, you can always relate this to how this works within the wider context of chemical engineering. Bioprocess Engineering Principles by Pauline Duran One particular niche of ChemEng that's perhaps not talked about as much is bioprocess engineering, which is where biology seeps into chemical engineering principles and enables the creation of artificial organs, mass-produced live culture medication and more. And this book is actually geared towards those with a biology background who are not very aware of engineering. So if you do study biology, it's the perfect fit to kind of justify why you are studying biology for chemical engineering and how you are interested in exploring the links between them, as well as how this seeps into industry. It is a great exemplification of how biology is wholly relevant to the chemical engineering field and how certain principles from chemical engineering and biology furthering the borders of science is very relevant to solve the world's problems right now. The Periodic Kingdom by Peter Atkins Once again, this is a heavily chemistry focused book, but much different to the previous one that we talked about. It may not be wholly relevant to chemical engineering as a degree, but it's definitely relevant to the chemistry modules you study within the degree, which make up to a maximum of 20% of your degree. And this book itself focuses on the periodic table and how it operates and how the intricacies link linking the periods, the groups and the elements themselves work, and is a very interesting read. It is great to show that you're interested in how chemistry works and how this can be then related into chemical engineering because there are talk about our practical applications of chemistry which sometimes do overlap into chemical engineering so it's a great read by that respect. Chemical Engineering Design by R. Sinnott There is no debate that process design is one of the core skills that a chemical engineering student and professional should have to further develop in their portfolio as a chemical process engineer and this book is perfect in showing how a chemical engineer would go about designing processes. It provides all the supplementary material needed to understand how a design is undertaken, as well as why certain applications of certain devices are used, such as a reciprocating compressor instead of a regular compressor in some design, and how the various sizing of pipes is very important for the practical application when taking something from a theoretical process into an actual process, which is one of the key things a chemical engineer does in the field. This is a great way to show the real life workings of a chemical engineer through the technical aspects discussed in this book. So it's a great read for your personal statement, but also for chemical engineering professionals, it's a great way to remind them of how designing processes works in the first place. The Four Laws That Drive the Universe, a very short introduction by Peter Atkins. This is the second book by Peter Atkins in our list, but it's a really good read as it overlaps the mathematical concepts with the physics within chemical engineering. It has a distinct razor focus on thermodynamics, which as we mentioned, is one of the key modules within chemical engineering, and describes the four key laws that drive the universe with great analogies and anecdotes, all written very cleverly in this book to make sure that your interest is engaged. It's a brilliant way of understanding how the zero, the first, second and third thermodynamic laws all work in real life, talking about energy and entropy and how these govern the universe and explain why your desk will only ever get messier and never tidier by itself without you exerting energy in the first place and why the universe will carry on expanding until a certain point. And once again, this helps you show a great interest in the theoretical side of chemical engineering through the main module, Thermodan. And finally, how to use the books I've mentioned in this list. So if you're applying to university for a UCAS application, the books in this list are invaluable assets to help you bolster your UCAS application to universities, as reading books is a great way to show that you're passionate about chemical engineering, even if it is within the wider context or more narrow context based off some of the books we've discussed, with some of them being more niche and more being about the wider context and applications of chemical engineering. To make the most out of these books, it's important that you take active engagement when you're reading them. And by this, I mean, every time you've read a chapter or a couple of pages, 
you write down on a piece of paper or a book or in a document what the key things you remember from that chapter are, whether these be specific examples of, for example, how heat transfer works, or more wider examples on some of the more conversational topics, such as why hydrogen storage is very difficult and why this is an important step in making sure that the future and climate crisis can be solved. But this will be very important for your personal statement as I will explain now. These points that will have interested you will really shine through with your personal statement, especially if you are genuinely interested with them, such as if you go on to explain in your personal statement how within chapter 5 of the books, they talk about how hydrogen storage being one of the difficult aspects of transport of hydrogen is one of the key sticking points, and you can marry this with how you understood this further by reading the chapter about heat transfer and seeing why certain pressures and temperatures have to be maintained to ensure the hydrogen does not ignite before it reaches the combustion chamber and cause damage to the holdings, which is one of the things that you would like to work on as a chemical engineer and thus want to do the degree in it. The important thing is not to try and rote learn what's in the book because that won't really benefit you. What you're trying to gain and show through reading the book is that you genuinely understood what the book was about and you actually were generally captivated by some of the aspects like our hydrogen and heat transfer example we've taken. So even just reading one book or a couple of books is often sufficient because the information you gain in it and the technical aspects of the degree or the non-technical application of the degree will allow you to develop your personal statement by saying I read this book and in this book it showed me this and because of this I read this and because of reading this, I am now more passionate about chemical engineering. Therefore, whether what you read is either practical or theoretical will be very useful for your personal statement as it will show that you have plans in the future to either partake in the practical side of chemical engineering or learn the theory side of chemical engineering because you are genuinely interested and you are a much more desirable candidate overall. Do comment down below if you would like me to do a part two of this video. If this video gets 100 likes, I will do a part two anyhow. Make sure you hit that like button. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to like it if you enjoyed it and leave your comments and suggestions down in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow us on our social media channels and if you click on the on-screen cards now you can watch another one of our videos. Click on the centre card to subscribe and don't forget to share this video if you found it useful. Further information can be found in the description and thank you very much.